hundreds of thousands of hornet nests in Europe, destroyed hundreds of honeybee nests in just one night. They attack humans and fruit farms, causing productivity and fruit quality to decline. Right now, let's go with Cat Farmer to some areas in Europe to see what European farmers have done to prevent and destroy these bees. Leave number one and start a video now. According to research by Vahan University in the Netherlands, Asian giant hornets have been identified as a potential hazard. They can cause damage of up to 10% of fruit production. In Europe, in the worst case, the damage rate can increase up to 30%. The wasp threat is not limited to affecting fruit healing, but is also a serious risk. Due to the honey industry and related products, wasp nests are capable of destroying hundreds of honeybee nests in one night. According to research by the European Agency for Agriculture and Food Administration, giant hornets can cause up to 70% loss of honey. Production in Europe not only threatens plants and honeybees. But Asian giant hornet venom also poses significant risks to human health, especially for children and the elderly. According to Public Health England, between 2004 and 2023, 13 people in England were stung by giant hornets, including two that were not economically viable according to estimates by the Department of Agriculture, European Industry and Food. Total damage caused by giant hornets could reach 600 million per year in Europe. The product industry may lose about 250 million per one year, while the agricultural industry may lose about 350 million per one year. Up to now, there are many different methods of catching wasps and among them. Pheromone traps have emerged as an effective solution. And catching wasps through the stimulation of hormone-like chemicals. Although this method not only keeps costs stable, but is also very easy to implement with a relatively low cost and simple process. Traps have become an effective tool in wasp control, especially in areas where they are frequent and harmful to agriculture. Applying these measures in areas where wasps live can bring great benefits, not only for protecting crops, but also ensuring the safety of people living nearby. European farmers approach the removal of wasp nests with special care to ensure safety by using professional protective gear. 
Protective equipment includes helmets with visors, long waterproof gloves, waterproof pants and boots. In addition, they have gas masks, goggles and body armor that can be used to protect the entire body. Asian giant hornets frequently nest in forested areas, such as forest parks and home gardens. Beehives are often built in high and discreet locations, such as on trees in caves or artificial structures, before catching wasps. Experts need to conduct thorough preparations, including contacting authorities to ensure a valid wasp relocation permit is being researched. To catch wasps, you need to prepare adequate protective gear, equipment, and choose the right time to minimize risks. Experts estimate that about 30,000 wasp nests are harvested in Europe each year, although this number can fluctuate depending on the wasp invasion. The situation, once the wasps have been harvested, can be handled by killing them to be turned into food or used for medical research purposes. In addition to catching them after implementing control measures, special measures are being taken in Europe to control Asian giant hornets. This includes planting aggressive plants to attract them, using sound emitters or scents to repel them as well as developing wasps that are resistant to their toxins. These measures are being researched and tested to ensure effectiveness and safety. In some highlands, cleaning the nest sometimes becomes a bit difficult. However, after receiving information from the community, experts will proceed to handle this problem. The main method for removing wasp nests is to use chemical sprays on the nest. This chemical has the ability to kill bees right at the nest before they have a chance to fly out of the nest. To do this, People often use long chemical pipes to bring chemicals to where they need to be treated. Many experts also apply drone technology to guide fire spraying and process honeycomb treatment after fire is sprayed into the honeycomb. After about 5 to 10 minutes, the honeycomb can be treated. Harvesting is not difficult. However, implementing these measures requires professionalism and careful control, which is not a task that any citizen should attempt due to the high safety risk for yourself and those around you. Some residents of Europe have adopted the method of burning beehives with fire, a method that not only harms our friends, but is also potentially dangerous. In particular, 
mountainous areas, and old forests. Where trees are very dense can cause the risk of forest fires, affecting the ecosystem and the relationship between humans and the environment. Do you agree with these measures? If so, leave the number 1. Otherwise, if you disagree, leave the number 0 and share your opinion in the comment section below. The wild creatures that are on, you can find food in many different types. The environment when the food source in the forest, where they live, gradually dries up. Agricultural farms become ideal destinations providing diverse food sources, including crops and agricultural products, while pigs are capable of consuming most crops such as corn, wheat, potatoes, and all other crops. However, they are more suited to eating corn and wheat because this is their best food source to hide and consume directly from corn and wheat. Fields are a huge challenge for farmers. In fact, the damage caused by wild pigs can be huge for farmers. The agricultural industry and local farmers are estimated to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. A significant amount for each particular region, the fields where their lands were, were severely damaged, leading to huge losses in yields and wildlife income. Wild boars have the ability to travel long distances and move at astonishing speeds of up to 31 mph, posing a significant challenge for farmers and ranchers in areas near forests or their natural habitats. The wild boar's ability to travel long distances is an important factor that helps them easily penetrate farm areas, where they search for food and new homes. This can have serious consequences for agriculture and the lives of local communities. Problems for farmers and businesses agree, especially when wild pig invasions take place in herds. Wild boar herds can cause rapid and severe damage to farms and can breach fence systems and cause damage to farm infrastructure. Protecting farms against wild boar intrusion is an important part of protecting agriculture and the lives of local communities. Canada is facing significant challenges as many farms do not have effective protection measures to prevent animal intrusion and even lack sturdy fences. Some farms are not equipped with strong enough protection measures, such as high and sturdy fences to prevent wild pigs from entering. These vulnerabilities facilitate the entry of feral pigs and have significant consequences for farmers in agriculture.
The rapid reproduction rate of wild boars is one of the main reasons why they invaded Canadian farms. Female wild boars are capable of giving birth to two litters per year. Each litter can give birth to 20 to 40 cubs, causing great challenges in managing and predicting their food sources. The number of wild pigs is increasing rapidly, and their need for food is also increasing. When wild boar numbers exceed acceptable levels, they are forced to seek new food sources and farms are often easy to find in stable places for them to move in herds. This can cause great damage in just a short time. This encroachment not only affects agriculture, but also threatens biodiversity and ecological balance in the areas where they operate. To deal with feral pig infestations and protect farms, a number of effective and careful measures have been put in place. Building a solid fence is a basic but extremely effective measure. The fence should be constructed from sturdy material, at least 3.5 feet high and buried at least one foot deep into the ground. Most importantly, the fence should be inspected regularly to ensure there are no holes or damaged traps. This is an effective way to catch wild pigs, especially single pigs. Additionally, there are different types of traps such as tunnel traps, spike traps, and rope traps. The location of the trap also needs to be chosen carefully near food and water sources to increase attractiveness. Hunting is an effective way to reduce the number of wild boar in the area. However, it must be done safely and responsibly to avoid endangering humans and other animals. Do you like Can I Go Hunting Wild Boar? If so, please leave number one right away. The consumption of wild boar meat is emerging as a measure that can contribute to minimizing damage caused by invasive wildlife. Wild boar meat not only brings high nutritional value, but is also loved by many people. Popularizing wild pork 
could help reduce the need for hunting and trapping to control feral pig populations, while also creating new income opportunities for communities. However, it should be noted that wild pork exploitation needs to be managed sustainably to avoid overfishing and impacts on wild pigs. It is necessary to establish environmental protection principles and standards to ensure that the consumption of wild pork does not harm the natural environment. The handling, processing, and preservation of wild pork needs to be done properly to avoid the risk of food poisoning and depletion of natural resources. Consumption of wild pork also needs to be strictly controlled. Have you ever eaten wild boar meat? Please share your feelings about wild boar meat with us. Wild pigs are omnivores because of their ability to consume a variety of food sources, which creates risks for the agricultural industry because they cause significant damage to vegetables. Fields include newly planted and growing fields damage that wild pigs can cause in vegetable fields, including digging destruction fields damage leafy and tuber crops, reducing yield. Wild pigs can carry pathogens into fields that can spread and reduce the quality of newly planted vegetables. Wild fields can destroy young plants and eat seeds, creating unique challenges in plant growth and germination. The impact of damage caused by feral pigs is not limited to the local level, but also significantly affects the agricultural sector worldwide. According to estimates, this damage costs the U.S. agricultural industry about 1.5 billion USD each year, 1 billion euro in Europe, and 1 billion euro in Asia, including the loss of many vegetables such as carrots and potatoes, cabbage, cucumbers, and even rice cultivation. Damage to agricultural land comes not only from digging, which reduces fertility, but also from pollution, which increases the risk of environmental pollution. The problem of destruction caused by feral pigs is becoming a significant challenge in determining the exact number of cities affected each year. It is estimated that hundreds of cities in Europe, Asia, and North America are facing this problem, creating major challenges for communities and environmental management. Urban areas attacked by wild pigs have many problems, from eating leaves and twigs to flowers and stems, damaging the beauty and value of the garden. The problems don't stop there. Their burrowing behavior can damage landscaping and drainage systems and leave behind fertilizer and waste, creating environmental pollution problems. Wild pigs are not only a threat to the environment, but also pose a traffic safety risk.
With the ability to suddenly appear on the road, they become the cause of many traffic accidents. According to research by the U.S. Federal Highway Administration, there are an estimated 500 accidents each year involving wild pigs. Although exact figures cannot be determined, it could be as many as thousands of cases each year. One of the most important problems is the destruction of trees. Wild pigs not only eat leaves, but also attack tree trunks and tubers, reducing soil cover and causing soil erosion and affecting water sources. Related problems create a chain of major negative impacts. In addition, wild species also cause environmental pollution problems when they leave dung and waste in the forest, which affects the cleanliness of the habitat and pose a risk of contamination to other species. Not only is this a physical threat, but bison species also have the ability to transmit diseases. The fact that wild pigs transmit diseases to other animals creates additional risks to forest ecosystems. Until now, it has been difficult to accurately quantify the amount of forest destroyed by feral pigs. But estimates suggest that millions of hectares of forest could be destroyed every year. The consequences of the devastation caused by feral pigs are not only reduced biodiversity, but also linked to global problems such as global warming and the risk of natural disasters. Hunting wild pigs is a common method of controlling their populations around the world. There are many different approaches, including daytime hunting, nighttime hunting, and the use of drones. Hunting wild pigs in the fields at night has proven to be an effective solution. This animal is adapted to nocturnal activities, creating favorable conditions for hunting. This tactic often uses headlights and rifles to enhance hunting ability. In particular, this method has contributed significantly to the reduction of wild pig populations worldwide. According to estimates, this decline could be up to about 20% over the past 20 years in the United States. Hunters converge when night falls, then they move to the hunting area. Headlights are used to detect and track herds of wild pigs, once located. Hunters use hunting tools to capture wild pig carcasses, then collect and bring them home. Although hunting at night is effective, it also carries many risks. Hunters need training and experience to ensure safety during this process. In addition, it is necessary to continue to seek and apply other solutions to prevent the development of invasive species. 
while ensuring environmental and ecological considerations.